little video with this. It was the kind of envelope in inverted commas envelope journals, but instead of um, having a soft cover, I've put them into two hardcover books. Now I still need to work on this cover, but I think we'll work on the covers together. And I think I might start doing things inside the journal is what I'm thinking today. Um, I'll just move those. That's the washi. Oh, I did print. So I'm going to use some of it. I did print the washi also on the foshi on um, the transparent paper. So you'll get to see what that looks like. But the colours are very intense and lovely. So um, I kept sucking in the regular paper. So I've got multiple prints out on regular paper as well. But uh, I love the intensity of the colours on the transparent paper. So I may use that here and there. But I've also got my... Um, oh, oh! I just found. Oh, I found some labels. Ha! Need to cut those up. Um, I've got. I do have some of my new kits. Oh, the the uh, older newer kits. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, that I'm going to use in this journal as well. So I don't know what I have here. I've got the navy kit, and then oh, I have some book pages. Oh, where's the other? Oh, that's the plain kit there. Okay, all right. So here I would like to put some sort of, I don't want to cover that. I want to put some sort of um, pockety sort of thing. Ah, do you know what I could do? Well, maybe we could flip an envelope. Do I have any envelopes here? Didn't think about that. I'm just going to move my, I'm going to open a drawer. Just open my drawer and I'll put things on it. It does become a problem sometimes, but... Uh, I seem to enjoy I'm going to open a drawer. Just open my drawer and I'll put things on it. It does become a problem sometimes, but uh, I seem to enjoy doing that. I don't have... I thought I had more envelopes here. Oh, I know where I put them. I put them in my to-do box. Because they were flying around. Here they are. I could use that type of envelope. Oh, that one's already cut open. I don't want to put a bag... I could flip a bag, that's actually quite nice. But anyway, I'm thinking maybe something like this that could flip, or do I want a long one? I think I might like a long one. Put that one there and it will flip out. I've got room to hinge it because I've got all that space there. So that's what we're gonna have. We're gonna have an instant flip. Right, so um, I don't wanna type, this is, you can't tell this is a recycled paper. Um, and it's there's little specks in it so i think we'll just do some collage work on it and um and then just see where it takes us i do have these i do have an old envelope here isn't that beautiful inside don't you really find those that could i would include that in something not there so how is everyone today it's a very relaxing sunday here, um, oh, I've been to the antique market and one of my, um, I call them my dealer men, <laughs> um, that I, I get books from, he was there and he had put some books aside for me and I did get them and there's quite a few smaller ones. I know a few of you have asked me for smaller size books to make um, with the lovely covers to make some, what are they called, ephemera holders. And so, yep, I, but I'll be contacting you with those. And anything um, that, you know, isn't taken, I may decide to put in my shop today. So keep an eye out for those. Maybe some bigger ones as well. But he, they're just really a lovely collection with really gorgeous covers and my two favourite papers in them, most of them. So, um, yeah, while I've got them, uh, I, you know, have a, I got quite a lot from him. So um, I'm thinking I'm going to put that there. I might, oh, you know, so I could do with some stamping. Oh gosh, I just can't get, get it together. I got this one as well. This one arrived. I'm thinking just a bit of script. Maybe that, oh, that one's nice, but it's not very big. I might like it to be bigger. Uh, let me just see, I've dropped all these things. Oh, this one. This is this one I could do. Oh, let's do some, one of these. Maybe that one or oh, that one. Decisions, decisions. I bought them. I might as well use them. So, let's 
excuse the noise. Um, let's see, this one, maybe this one. Do that one up over there. Yeah, or, or this one. There, and then a little bit, a little bit of, I know, I've changed my mind, see, this is what happens. Oh, that's what I, I was thinking. I was just looking at my bookshelf before and I was thinking, what was it? What did I think I needed a ring binder for? It was for these. I think I want to do that. Okay, so I'll just put that there. And I need to grab, I'm going to use my brown one. I know it's getting low, but that's, I'm actually pleased about that. Just grab my my books, my book pages, as my grand would say, my books, and oh, I've got that upside down, don't I? Put that there, that one, and then I'm going to glue my piece of paper on. Oh yes, love it, love, love, love. Put that back there, and then I was going to have some of this one, the different font coming off the other side, but I want to glue my paper on first. So, we had a bit of a wild night last night because we caught up um, with a very dear old friend who I'd kind of lost contact with her. She was like my, um, she went out with Steffi's best friend, the one that's gone a bit off the rail rails and they they had they they're divorced now um and um and so she she met um you know after that years after they got divorced she she met um this gentleman from he's actually from Puglia and so she moved down there and I lost my sim and I lost um and the, the divorce was hard for her. She, her dad also died at a very young age and they were very, very close. And so she, she just really just needed some time, I think, to sort of cope with everything. And, um, and so we sort of lost contact and I had my depression when I was 40 and, um, which was no good and just doing a bit more stamping. And so anyway, I, I, I actually, her sister's a, a very, very good hairdresser and very reasonably priced, and I loved her. And um, I, I, she just, when their dad died, she also went off the rails a bit, and she just shut her very successful business down and closed the doors and, and disappeared. And I didn't know that she had reopened five years later. And I've been struggling with hairdressers um, ever since. And then during COVID, she uh, contacted me on facebook and you know and we, i i friended her and and i realized that she had reopened her salon so i'm i'm back to her and i'm very happy and, and so then um her sister came came up she's up here for the summer working and um i'm like oh my god and so she came and i saw her and we just, it's just was you know we just loved each other we we've been friends since 1994 and she's like my favorite person in italy and i was so sad and it's steffi too he he absolutely adores her and so anyway Long story short, she came over with her um, kind of in inverted commas husband because they've been together for like 15 years now. Um, and um, we just had really fun night, really fun. And and so, and we went to bed really late. It was just like old times. It was just so good. So a um, bit of a slow day today, but just because we're tired, like I didn't drink too much bit more than I normally do but no not too bad I was a pretty good girl um but we then we went into town and we had a walk around and <laughs> and then you know, it was just so much fun honestly I haven't had that much fun for a really long time and I'm really pleased that um she's back in my life and I'm gonna have to go back down to pull you to see her now so I didn't think I would be going back there again or well, not for a while I think I like those colors yes I see a little bit of fussy cutting happening now and um, 
we'll just quickly I mean it's just a whiz it won't take long let me just grab my basket so I don't have to gather mess let's do that So just snip all your bits off that get in the way. I've gone quiet. Just wanting to get my flower cut out quickly. So I will try and do as many prompts of, of Meg's prompts in Junk Journal July as possible. Um, whether I, I don't know that I'll post every day, but I would like to try and, I, I know this plant goes like this, but I'm going to put it on like that, like it's a branch coming in from over there. Um, yeah, I will try and do as many as possible, but I may um, sort of join a few days together and, and post them you know, every other day because pretty much have most our days filled during the week with all these projects going on. I'm going to put that there. Love that. And then we could have, where are they? There. I haven't made my butterfly one yet. Oh, there's not many choices in here. I remember I was down to the dregs in this container. Oh, kind of like that. Do I? I don't know. I'm not 100% convinced. That one, maybe. Oh, that one, a smaller one. Over there, there. I think I like that one. Yes, I'm going to do that. Right, I do really like those colors. And then, I don't have many papers here, do I? I seem to use a lot of them, put those up there. Um, I don't know that I really want, do I want a label? Let me just have a look at the little ones. Here's all my new ones. No, that's all washi tape. Um, they are here. No. How could I lose them? Or did I did I trim them? I might have trimmed them. Or did I only print out the big ones? I don't know. No, I didn't because I showed you guys. Oh, here they are. I don't know if I want any. I certainly didn't put any little ones in here. I know I didn't. Where's the little pages? Here. I didn't say I didn't put any little ones in. But I don't know whether I want a label or not. I don't think so. I think I'll leave it because I'm going to put washi tape there. I'm going to washi tape it on there so let's do that <gasps> love it just a sec i'm going to grab a wash oh no wait i've got a, a box of washi tapes over here just one moment we can find something in here i may need to run some glue depends on um how sticky oh this one this one's pretty sticky but it's not that wide uh, that one's very sticky it's a good color for where where i'm putting it this one's very sticky but that's a bit too wide okay well i'll go with that one 
won't fuss too much. Let's see. Put it there. I won't go all the way, I don't think. Let's put it on here first. On the inside, I think I might grab an, an, an one of my Amity ones. So that's going to go there, like so. Love that. And let me just hop up and grab. Well, no, first I want to do something here, I think. Let's see. Book pages. Oh, what about just a minute? I've been, been using a bit of these. I've had these for a while. These um, pages that I was just testing out my my foam stamps that I've done. I think I'll put that. Oh, yes, I like that. I'll put that there. So I do work a little bit um, differently in the... In the um, envelope ones that are, have lots of envelopes in them because I, I then have to decorate the envelopes as well and then of course they're a certain size so um, sometimes I have made ephemera that's okay for them but um, sometimes I don't. Okay. And I just want to see, so that is that, that is there. I'm going to cover that with something, but I might do that afterwards. I might even just leave that for now and not finish it off because I sort of like to get a feel for it. And I may not want to um, decide what I want to put there. Like I might decide I'm going to put something like that there, but no, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I may not want to, I might want to sort of get a feel for the, the journal. I think I'm going to, I am going to put a, a pocket across here and I might put a label or just a pretty paper up there, but we need to, I'm going to grab my amities now that I've done that. And they're just here. And which one would I like? Um, this one. They're very sticky, so they're really good. And I'm gonna have that go right down there. More on the, the book page than the envelope. That's gonna be longer than the other one. I'll just cut that. And that's perfect. And then I think I'll put an Amity up here. That's what I'll do on this. Take that off, because that's the little sticky bit to close the envelope. And I am going to put one. So pretty. I don't think I've really used this. I have used it a little bit because it is torn, but I haven't used it that much. And I absolutely love it. So I'll just cut it about there. And just put that across the sticky. And it's crooked. What a surprise. Okay. And then I think I'll leave the rest of that. <clears throat> I'll decide that another time. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I need a pocket. Do I want a pocket? I could. Do you know what I could do? Um, where are they? I know. I put some in here. I've got a box. wondering if I might like to just put one of these little transparent pockets there and just slip a little something in there. Why not? Why don't I do that? I do want to use them in things. I don't just want to use them in the ephemera things. I think I'm going to put that there and put a little, excuse me, a little, um, you know, journal card or something, and it's probably some sort of label up there. Oh, yes, I like it. Okay, 
Let's move over. So do I sort of ignore all these things for the moment and then I need to work on these things. Now this is really in your face, um, orange. And so, oh, I do have a lot of um, receipts and things like what I used yesterday. So I could do something like that. And what scraps do I have? I have a little bit of scraps here. Let's just see, oh. I'll just tap you just in case you're out of focus. I am liking this color. Oh, I do like that. I'm going to put that there. So we'll see a little bit of the envelope, but not all of it. I need to fold that, crease it. enough glue on it because I was kind of on the edge of my mat so I was having trouble getting the glue on I think on this one I'll put my glue in the center and then just run around it with my wet glue just so I don't get everything all sticky. Okay. And again, I'm not really going to sort of decorate this right this second. I'm just going to sort of start covering up the bits that I want to cover. I ha I'll probably put something over here. I might put a pocket. I don't know. I'm just getting rid of some of that orange that was a bit too much for me. But I still love those envelopes because they're not common. And I'm just wondering, I think it's so big. I could do that, but normally I would cover part of it. I actually could... Normally I glue it down there and then I open it. I'd open that one at the top or at the side. I think I'll open it at the side, that one. So I just need a nice piece of paper. A nice big piece of paper and so for example, I could do this piece of paper. What am I going to lose? That. No, I could do it that way because I want to keep the flower. So I'm actually, I love that. I love the blue with the orange. So I'm just going to crease it about where I need to trim it. Find my ruler and rip it. Here, again, I'll just take a bit more off than what I need to. Okay, and then I need to, what I need to do is put my glue on here. So I just fold this. You don't want to get glue in there because otherwise you'll glue your pocket closed and then you need to get your glue all over here I won't go right to the edge because I'll, I'll run around the edge of my piece of paper Okay, now get this and just 
just to make sure it sticks. I got glue everywhere. I really do love that Tombow glue because it really just it, it just comes out so finely. It's fantastic. There we go. And that's going to glue like that. Perfect. Well, it's not perfect, but it is perfect in my world. Love that. Now, I probably already had that page in here, did I? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. I've got the horizontal pages in here. Okay, so that's good. I didn't repeat anything. Oh, it's going to be fun, this journal to work in. Okay, so we've got that there. Oh, now I do have this strip. No, I think I'll leave it because I might put a pocket there. Okay, so then here, I'm going to do it now so I don't forget. I trim down here just a slither and it's going to be a nice big pocket a tuck spot and put your things in there cool okay so that's that I'm definitely not covering that up I might put a tab or something but oh that's just wonderful that's a lovely writing spot this page here, I will put some sort of pocket. So I'm just going to go through first and do any work on extending anything. Um, you know, if I've got a little page and then also just work on these. Okay, so this one, I absolutely, I'm going to leave that like that. Um, but I love, and I love the craft paper, but I will do something on there. So let's see first of all I might no that one isn't that gorgeous no I want what about some book page I haven't used any book page yet this I think I'll put that there Now I am finding that a bit polarizing, so I just want to see if I have any bits. I want to cover it all. I quite like that. So what if I were to tear this sort of, I want it to sort of go a bit thinner as I move up the top, a bit like that. and I'm going to leave that for now I'll come back to that here I think I may put a strip of something oh not the clear one I want the solid one the washi where's the washi this 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 I'm thinking this one here the foshi it's a faux sheet, it's a faux washi, it's a faux sheet. It's nothing like washi tape at all in the sense that it's not transparent. I just 
love that. Okay, so I am going to put that right there. Yep, that's going to go there. I'll decide if I want to do something there afterwards. I just do a little bit at a time and it all comes together slowly. But I keep coming back and revisiting um, bits that I haven't finished. that okay that's not finished yet we'll finish that later I'm just getting them going now this I actually love those I'll probably put a little bit of something on there but I don't know what um, but I'm going to do this bit here so again I'm going to do the pocket it's going to be a top loading one so I'm going to choose a nice piece of paper and cover that up put the sticky papers up there and I love that. Or will I use that? I use that. I like them all. That one, but then I lose that image there. So no, I'm not going to use this one. might be a bit matchy matchy let's see it's a bit matchy matchy for me so we don't I, you know I'm not a matchy matchy person um, oh that's double-sided This one. I think I'm going to put that there. Yep. Okay. So, I'll, I think I'll cut this with the cutter. So I need to put. Well, first of all, I'll put that up there like that. I need to put a mark. Pen, 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 pen or pencil. I seriously need to find go and borrow a sharpener from Lulu and sharpen things. So I need to cut that there do that first don't know how straight it is oh I still need that silly measure yes that's okay it's a bit smaller that's all right and I need to put a marker here we're left with a nice tag shape there okay so again I need to slide this in glue around the edge because you know it's a little bit smaller than that so I don't want to um, 
put glue right to the edge of the envelope because then it will be, all be sticky. It'll have a sticky border around it because the paper doesn't cover it all. And again, afterwards, I will d decide what I want to do here. Let's get my basic coverage done. Okay, so we can go ahead and snip that. It's a little bit more awkward. I'm going to stand up. Okay. So that is snipped. Oh, I have to do that one. Let's do that one. This is going to be good. I'm going to use this piece that I wanted to use before. So again, I'm going to use my cutter. I'll do a better job in theory. That's the theory. There. Okay, cool. I actually just like to cut right across. I don't have funny shaped bits and pieces of paper. So I could just, maybe I'll just do a little bit of gluing here because I'll need a smaller piece of paper in there. So I'll just do a bit of gluing like that and then go around the edge of this. So when that, Steffi's put a timer on, when the timer goes, it's lunchtime. Well, it's a bit after lunchtime, but we're having a late lunch today. So, and that will be the end of my video. And this one, I think I'll open this one at the top. That one I opened at the top. Yeah, I think I'll open. Oh, no, I think I'll open it on the side. I'm not putting any of my notches in until I sort of finish the embellishing, if there's any further embellishing happening. So um, I'm not putting any notches in yet. Absolutely love that. Love that. Okay. This one. So this doesn't need a full coverage. I could put something like that there and then maybe, maybe, maybe just some, oh, maybe I'd like to, oh, a piece of this. Oh, I love that. And I'm going to wrap it round. I'm probably going to open that one at the top. Is it upside down? Oh, it is. That way. Okay, cool. So let's get some glue on here. So all of the base kits I have linked, I linked them in the first video, so, or the second video, I don't know how many videos I did, I think I only did, I might have done two. Um, so I'll relink those and just anything extra that I've used on top of those, if I have. I think I have. The wallpaper, it's my wallpaper one, I know I've used a bit of that one. And of course the, the, the faux she I've used, that's going to wrap around. Why not? And that is going to go there. And then something else will happen, but we don't know what yet. Do I want to just tear across? Yes, I think I want to tear across there. And I also want to tear up the side.
Okay. Love that. This side. Now I need to do something up here because I'm not having that as the opening because that's already been ripped into, you know, it's already sticky. It's sticky. So, um, I think, you know what I could do? I could put a little, not this one, I could make a little um, top tuck or something there. I might have to make that. Put that across as a top tuck. So, I need to I'll trim. Actually, that's easy. I'll just trim across because I'm going to fold it up to reinforce it. Trim across there. And then my whip. off that's going to fold but I need a little bit of something just to because I want to leave that that's not a nice writing maybe I could just put a little piece of washi tape up there I've got this washi tape Gosh, there's been a lot of Temu, is it Temu, um, videos lately. Um, I They contacted me. I went on and had a look at their website. I decided not to, to do that because um, I felt like it's just sort of like, um, and I do buy from AliExpress. I try to be careful not to buy anything that I, I, I recognize. I don't recognize all the brands or all the things, but thing, anything I recognize as being somebody else's, I don't. Um, purchase hey, just since so I'm back I realized that part of the video had gone um, blurry so um, I don't think I did any much more after gluing that top pocket loading pocket on but I just want I did flip through to just see reiterate what had been done so I did that and I, I really love that I love the colors um, that's obviously not finished and we've got the little pocket here that we can put you know that probably won't fit this one, but put a little something. Oh, it does maybe just. Yes. Oh, yes, it does. So something like that in the pocket. Oh, I like that. I might leave that there. Um, and I didn't want to cover up this lovely page. So um, I left that. This still needs some more work, but that's going to be a pocket like that. And um, what else did we do? Really just um, sort of working on the envelopes. Put a little bit of foshi there. Still need to finish that. We added this here, and that page still needs more work, as I said. I'll keep saying that, because that's what it is. Um, this one, and then here I glued on this pocket, top loading pocket, and and then, oh, here. I'm going to, I took this page. I'm actually going to glue that on here, like so. Oh, no, a bit further over. And, and then this, I'll, let, let's just do it now. While I'm at it, let's just do it. So I'll run my glue down the edge of this because I'm not quite sure how much it's gonna over, overlap onto the straw paper. And then run my glue along here. Go in a little bit. Bye, Lulu. Lulu's heading out. To see her friend her friends I should say um so that will glue there Is that, oh it's crooked like so just make sure you know you've got all your glue here just you don't want things getting caught in those bits if they're not glued down properly there and then that but I'm what I'm going to do that's a bit wide I'm actually going to tuck it I love this paper it's an absolute babe so what I'm going to do is just do a little fold over like this like so that's what I'm going to do and then 
I'll snip that just so it doesn't overhang and more we'll glue with the glue on the flap yeah and then whoops yeah make a nice sort of looser pocket so it's easier to put things in so always put your glue on your flap not here because then you can't tell where your paper is going to land Okay, and that will be decorated, but that's what it's looking like so far. I may trim that bit off, I think. There we go. So that's a pocket. I can put my top notch in there. I mean, it's a big, big format journal. So I feel like nice, some nice big pockets are good. I might put some washi down there or foshi or something. Um, but I'm just loving the colours. And then, oh, that one's going to be glued closed. Didn't even fold it in. Oh, yeah, I might do. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to make it a bit smaller. I've just had a thought. I'm going to glue that down. So nice and wide. I'm going to glue that down. See, I didn't do this in the other part in the video that I had to chop off because I got interrupted and then it, I, I knocked it and it went blurry and I just had to cut cut out that bit. I didn't do anything though. You didn't miss anything. I'm doing more now. You see do that and then here I'm going to fold this one I want it to be a little bit shorter so let me just test if I fold that in there yes this has just come to me right now I'm so pleased I I, I had to cut some out and come back on glue that down and you'll see what it's going to look like in a minute so you don't always have to double print your pages because that's quite a thing to do, isn't it? To have to do that all the time. Um, I'm going to snip there, just on one side. And when I fold it over, look, you see? It's just a little notch there. And then I'm going to put my glue here and here. And that is a central signature pocket for something different. Okay, so I was thinking actually too, um, when I was checking my video, I think I'm going to do my, I'm going to do the um, junk journal July, I always want to say January, it's July, um, July video, but I'm going to do, like I'll do two, I'll put two together and I'll post that one tomorrow. Um, this is enough for today, so that's good, that's a pop tuck there and then we've still got this to do here. And a few bits of things to do at the end but that's a pretty good start I think so there we go so I hope you enjoyed that video have a wonderful Sunday um, I'm sorry I had to cut out that little bit just gluing that pocket it's no biggie just went round three sides and I also was very careful not to um, you know trim I had to trim the top in fact what I'm going to do here is just do my notch on one side I don't want to do it on the other side because I'll open my pocket there we go I'll do it now so I remember so that's a top loader and that's a top pocket if that makes sense a lot of top loaders in this and that's a side one I love that that's something to remember I, I haven't done it quite like that before I've got to fix that up as well that's going to be a, t a pockety sort of thing yep so still plenty to do and of course then there's the other one that's drying as well that needs to have work on but really really enjoying this it's very freeing it's very random and a lot of fun so have a wonderful sunday and i will see you again soon bye